The constellation Cetus is located in the first quadrant of the southern hemisphere and is best visible around 9 p.m. during the month of November, but can be seen throughout the autumn months. The stars which make up Cetus form the vague shape of a whale or sea monster, and was named after the sea monster from the Greek myth about Perseus and Andromeda. In the myth, Perseus is returning from his most recent victory, the beheading of the Gorgon Medusa, when he saw Andromeda chained to a rock and being attacked by Poseidon's sea monster, Cetus. Poseidon had sent this monster to destroy Ethiopia after Queen Cassiopeia bragged that her daughter, Andromeda, was more beautiful than the sea nymphs. Perseus snuck up on Cetus, invisible thanks to Hades' helmet, and killed the sea monster. Perseus took Andromeda to be his bride, and the entire family's constellations are located in the same general area of the sky. Cetus is also commonly associated with the biblical tale of Jonah and the whale. In this story, Jonah refuses to do God's bidding and is punished by God when traveling across the sea to escape his mission by being swallowed by a great fish. Jonah lives inside the fish for three days before being spit back onto land upon his repentance. <laughs> The brightest star in the constellation of Cetus is Deneb Ketos, or Beta Ceti. Deneb Ketos is approximately 96.3 light years away and is an orange giant with a spectral type of K. It has left the main sequence stage of evolution and is on its way to becoming a red giant. Deneb Ketos means the southern tail of Cetus. Menkar, or Alpha Ceti, is a very old red giant star approximately 249 light years away. This star will eventually eject its outer layer to form a planetary nebula, leaving a large white dwarf remnant. The star's traditional name, Menkar, comes from the Arabic word for nostril. Mira, or Omicron Ceti, is a binary star consisting of a red giant and a companion star. This system is approximately 420 light years away and was the first non-supernova variable star discovered and is believed to be about 6 billion years old. Mira is the brightest periodic variable star that is not visible to the naked eye for part of its cycle. Mira means wonderful in Latin. Tau Ceti is a cold class G star and is one of the nearest stars to our solar system, being only 11.9 light years away. Kapaladima, or Gamma Ceti, is the shorthanded version of the Arabic phrase meaning part of a hand, referring back to the original Arabic constellation. Kapaladima is an ordinary main sequence class A star, the largest star in a binary system, which is about 82 light years away from our solar system. There are many deep space objects within the constellation Cetus, including planetary nebula, galaxy clusters, and different types of galaxies. There is one prominent planetary nebula in the constellation Cetus, NGC 246. This planetary nebula is commonly called the Skull Nebula and is roughly 1,600 light years away. Planetary nebula are created when stars evolve away from the main sequence into giant stars and die. Depending on the mass of the star, it becomes either a planetary nebula or a supernova. Once the planetary nebula dissipates, the core of the star will be exposed and we will see a white dwarf star. JKCS 041 is located in the constellation Cetus and is the furthest globular cluster from Earth ever observed. It's estimated to be about 10.2 billion light years away. Whiting 1 is possibly the youngest globular cluster found in the Milky Way's halo. It has a low metallicity and an approximate age of 5 billion years. This cluster was most likely a member of the Sagittarius Dwarf Elliptical Galaxy, a nearby dwarf galaxy which is currently colliding with our Milky Way galaxy. 
Within the Cetus constellation are many galaxies from which astronomers can determine things such as the distance to that point in space and how quickly the galaxy is moving toward or away from us. NGC 936 is a barred spiral galaxy that looks much like a TIE starfighter and is sometimes known as Darth Vader's galaxy. This galaxy is made up of exclusively old stars and shows no sign of any recent star formation and is 500 million light years away from us. Maser 77 is a barred spiral galaxy which is actively forming stars. It's located 60 million light years away from us and serves as the prototype of an active galaxy. M77 was one of the first recognized spiral galaxies discovered in 1850 by Lord Rose. NGC 720 is an elliptical galaxy which is too flat to be explained by the mass obviously contained in it, which makes a good argument for astronomers for the presence of dark matter. For this galaxy to be as flat as it is, it would need 5 to 10 times the mass in dark matter. IC 1613 is an irregular dwarf galaxy about 2 million light years away. It's metal poor and undergoing intense starburst activity. By looking at the movements of galaxies, astronomers can trace the pathways of the universe and by virtue the look back time. Every time we look at a galaxy, we are seeing the past and can see how younger galaxies interacted and evolved.